So, the weapons that I use the most, level 3 cutter, um, level 3 cutter, level 3 saber, these two are lifesavers, yes. Um, level 2 fireball, there's a, a case to be made to leave it at level 2, because um, it's a slow moving uh, fireball, and the way that um, enemies take damage, especially bosses, like apparently they only take damage per frame, and so with that slow moving fireball going through them, like they really absorb a lot more damage, apparently. So, but the thing is, like, you know, I'll get the, the, um, the, the level 3 anyway, because while in certain situations, yes, the level 2 fireball is pretty good, you've got to be skilled at using it, whereas, um, you know, level 3 fireball is plug and play, you just, you know, you yeet it at people, and it's pretty good. Um, this one, the area blaster, um, I guess situationally, um, depending on your playstyle, it can be good, but, um... Apart from a few enemies near the beginning, I don't really need this one, even when it's level 3. This one is the lifesaver. The safe space. It's level 3 now, so we now have a safe space. Even on Twitch, yes, I know. Um, situationally, I thought, oh yeah, this is pretty good, but um, yeah, nah. nah. What you really want to be using are repellers and fireballs. I used that one for the last boss. But now I'm second guessing myself. But uh, we'll just see, we'll just see. We've got a lot of enemy raises now. We are not limited in their use because we already got that achievement win. Um, last stream, we are going for the Deathless, but then we messed up on Corridor 20. And so we ended up completing the game in one sitting and we dealt with the enemy raiser um, achievement during that run. We, if, if we are getting close to death, for whatever reason, we can use that to bail us out. Um, um, what other weapons? Uh, this is level 3, but you know, in my opinion, very situational and kind of shit. Um, plus it uses up a lot of chips. I mean, this does too, but this is like, it lasts on the screen. It, it's, it has more utility, trust me. Um, people swear by this one. I'm like, eh. I don't know. I don't know, man. Just, just watch this playthrough. Assuming I get through this Deathless, and you'll see why there's no need for me to go for that. Um, you want this up, leveled up to level 3 because we're dealing with the final boss. I consider it like a useful strat, but yeah. This one, only near the beginning. In my opinion, this one is just too slow to use. Yeah. Alright. Area 8. <clears throat> we're getting real close now. Just trying to figure out which way is going to be the exit. I think it's this way. Or is this for the, um... Oh no, I think this is it. No, it's not. Maybe the shortcut through Area 6 would have been fine. I don't know. Um... Right, are we coming back? Yeah, we're coming back for that one. <clears throat> we're coming back for the shop. Mm. 
No, I can't make it work. I wanted to. Uh, this would be much better. Now... Lovely. It's really important that you get the level 3 saber, as well as the level 3 cutter, it just depends on how you approach this next one. This next warden uh, boss I'm in. Oops. tackle this area. Area 8. Uh, are we going to go straight for him? Yeah, might as well. We've got full defense as well. We are not afraid of this one. Well, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit afraid. But don't tell anyone. Okay, so Red Lander, hit. We now have 24. So let's go back to Area 7 to that shop. We said we're going to go back there once we had enough chips, as in over 2,000. Looking powerful now. I'm not preempting anything because remember we had a good run before and we got screwed on corridor um 20. We got screwed on 20. It was a heartbreaker. chips. Huh. 
Now, can I still do this? It's, it's tricky. Probably not. Damn it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it outside. Yeah, here. There we go, lovely. This is not the way. I kind of want to keep that there, just in case. I'll farm the bats. I shall farm the bats. Shouldn't take too long for a drop. Yeah, uh, that's fine. That's fine. So... Okay, we got some enemy erasers. <clears throat> Along this way. Here. I think uh, 255 is the max. This area. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's just a yeah, it's just a hint area. Okay. Second warden. Okay. Second warden is nothing. But can I? Yeah. I'll just use the other uh, fireball for this one. is good. Uh, there is a, a, what do you call it, a hyper laser, which will take us up to level three hyper laser. And then we have to go into the corridors. So there's corridor 18 and corridor eight. Which one do I want to go in first? Oh, um, 18. It's the Grim Grin. So. Should be fine. Grim Grin. Mm. 
Probably you. Was a timely use of the uh, the enemy eraser, I believe. What you got for me? Now we practice the um, safe space strategy. That's safe space. That's safe space. <clears throat> and also we switch in between so that we can kind of maximize maximize my safe space <clears throat> look at grim grin he's not grim grinning now He's uh, grim grimacing. Fuck you, Grim Grin. I'm in my safe space. You cannot touch me in my safe space. My safe space. Ooh. Getting feisty. He's like... He's like, fight me fair, and I'm like, nope. There is no fair. I'm coming to destroy your planet. There we go. Grim Grin. There we go. That's the Grim Grin. That's what you wanted to see. Get fucked, Grim Grin. My safe space. Of course, we'll be doing the same for all the uh, Grim Grins we face. Just be hiding in our safe space. No one can harm you in, in the safe space. You're so safe in my safe space. drop that was. Oh, 
There we go, Grim Grim. There we go. No, no. Oh, no. Almost. He's got to be close. Executing the same cowardly strategy against the uh, the other Grim Grin, who does fire more um, shots, like uh, little bullets that will hit you probably, but we've got enemy erasers for that, so. Okay. So I've gotten all the um, wardens. I do. Gotta do the walk of shame back. Do do, because there's no shortcut. Fondly remember the thing? Yeah, of course you do. Ow. Trying not to get tagged too much, but. Drop for you, boy? No drops. Drop. Um, what do I do for area eight? Um, no sub weapon equipped. Press the button to use the sub weapon. Oh, that's right, Grim Grin. <laughs> Derp. She loves it. Hmm. 
<clears throat> it's like the red grim grin is like uh, Tesla, and the uh, the safe space is all the uh, the people shorting Tesla stock in two thousand twenty two. It's like you can't lose. <laughs> I think I barely got that one. Imagine being a Grim Grim. Imagine being a Grim Grim. Barely got one up. <clears throat> barely got that one off. Is that to murmur? Strat. Tesla's, Tesla's getting a bit tired from all the uh, all the people shorting the stock. About, he's about to um he's about to start revoking the people that are tracking his jet. He's almost there. He goes he goes pretty good then. Some drops, thank you, Grim Grim. Uh oh, he, he's a, he's slightly angry now. A very angry Grim Grim. Very angry. Boiling. This hate's being made fun of on the internet. He's banning everyone. Oh, he's got a new poll up. Should I quit as CEO? He's almost done. The Elon Musk Tesla Grim Grin is almost done. Just needs a few more shots from the safe space. Oh, he tagged me a little bit then. I cannot lie. He shadow banned my account. Oh, get fucked. Ooh, I respect that tag. I respect it. But you can't. You can't defeat the safe space known as uh, Twitter and the Tesla shorters. Free tendies. Oh, he didn't like that one. Close to you. I reckon he's pretty close. I reckon you're close, matey. Oh. Oh no! It's 2023, Tesla stock is in the toilet. Elon Musk has been forced out by the board. 2023, you heard it here first. He's out. He's been ousted. 
The Grim Grin Tesla Musk monster has been defeated. Obviously, I'm feeling pretty good about this run, but, you know, every single run I've had at this uh, achievement, I've ended up being a little bit too cocky near the end, so I'm just, I'm just very wary. Blue Lander, a defense shield that we don't really need, uh, a wave weapon, uh, Blue Lander, Red Lander, and enemy races. Corridors. Okay, one Warden's easy, one Corridor boss is easy. Okay, both Wardens are easy, both bosses are easy. Now, getting to the bosses though. That can be hairy. That can be very hairy indeed. So I just need to keep my wits about me during the corridor runs. But... That's right. You need to be a little bit careful about the monsters here. No drops. All right. I can get all my chips back though with this. Red Lander first. Uh, here. This area, like, it's deceptive, like that particular room, it's just deceptive, so you just gotta be careful. Because, um, those things, the green things, can bounce into you and take, like, three, four life from you. So if you get swarmed, yeah, quickly you could die. But was it worth it for the Red Lander? Of course it was. Of course. Okay. Yeah, we can go get a Blue Lander by fighting an enemy up here. Yeah. 
here. Dildax. Is in the next room. It's like make it straight path. Okay, uh, we got everything. Okay, there is one more warden, but back, back a ways. But the wave weapon, we already have, so, like, there's no point in getting more, right? So, I'm not going to try to beat it up for points. Fuck okay, it, I don't need it. There's also an, uh, a, a shield in here as well. Again, I don't need it because it doesn't recognize past seven, so, you know, why increase the chances of dying, you know? Doesn't make sense. Corridor 9 or Corridor 19, pick your poison. It's both got the, um, the sand area. Uh, both bosses are fine. We'll just go for nine. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the boss, one of the coral bosses, has a defensive shield drop, which is essentially useless at this point. Hm. And because it's completely optional, I can skip it. So I will. I will only go for corridor nine then. Because Corridor 9, we get like the level 3 um, of that weapon. So then all the weapons are powered up. Cool, huh? Oh, okay. I went the long way around. It's whatever. You can get tagged. I tagged a little bit there, that's fine. Uh, was there a special seal with Corridor 9? I think it's just... No, let me... Let me double check. You stand on it. Okay. Get my wits about me. I'm not quite sure which sub weapon I should be getting out. Those blue ships take a ton of damage. Pick 
Hits. What they're there for. That's what they're there for. You gotta use them. Especially when you have that many uh, things coming at you. Like, I was always wary of, of the of the sand and desert areas because of those uh, blue things. And don't get me wrong. Like, with a proper strategy, which I believe I should have gone either with Fireball or with Repeller, you could have taken them out and I could have just, like, hidden the safe space. But, you know. The repellers, I mean, the enemy erasers, obviously they help, so I'd be crazy not to use them. Um, I can't recall which boss this is. How are we going to do with this one? Just fireballs? I'm not worried. The fireball is a mother. Hello wouldn't have um, been a good choice. Maybe the bullet shield, but I think the bullet shield is actually quite weak. It doesn't really shield you. That makes sense. Yoink. 